Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Welcome back to another video guys, today we're here in the F-22, we're going to be fighting the Sukhoi 57, which is obviously Russia's 5th generation fighter against America's best 5th generation fighter, there might be some debate on that, but you know, I think the F-22 is the best, I think there's a reason why the F-22 was never sold to anybody, but the F-35 has been sold to almost every allied nation, but that's just my opinion. Um, into the merge here against the Sukhoi 57. We're gonna take them one circle. Fox 2s are allowed. High off Boresight. Uh, Fox 2s are allowed here. I'm flaring. He's flaring. Pretty evenly matched so far. And if I can just get the nose on, you can see our nose is coming around, but his nose is also... He's trying very hard to point that at me. Look at this, the thrust vectoring of the F-22 is going to allow me to point the nose here. He's a little slow it looks like, and he knows that he's got flares out. Fox 2 that goes for flares. Missed the guns as well there. Reverse that turn, you want to jam that WES. The WES is the weapon employment zone. So you want to min range his missiles so they can't hit you as they go by just like that. That was a R-73 uh, there that went right over my head at Archer. And I'm just trying to chase his tail here because I'm going to eventually take his 6 o'clock and I'm going to get a perfect Fox 2 shot. This is looking perfect right here as he shows me his engines. 9X has tone, Fox 2. And that's tracking perfectly, Splash 1. <laughs> yeah, he's dead, right? Yeah, there's the ejection. Splash 1, Sukhoi 57 fell in there. I just chased his tail there and uh, managed to get the tone, and Splash 1 was easy there. 9X doing most of the hard work for me. So as many of you know, the F-22 was brought to us by Grinelli Designs. Uh, they're now working on the F-100D, which will be an official third-party module. Grinelli's been traveling around the country basically investigating and researching uh, basically F every F-100 he can get his hands on. Been to Texas, Georgia, Ohio, all that stuff. And you can see some of the photogrammetry pictures of the F-100 he's taken so far. And for those of you who don't know what photogrammetry is, it's when you take hundreds of photos from different positions and the software triangulates the data and creates a 3D model. Um, into the merge here with the Sukhoi 57. See if we can get nose on. Fox 2 that misses. He jammed the Wes there. Nice work by him. And we'll see if we can get tone here. I have tone, but I don't want to shoot. I'm going to switch the guns. Nice. We, got a, we nicked him there. That's good. On the wingtip, he looks like he's still actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to save that Fox 2 for a perfect shot. I'd like to not miss. Like right here, this looks pretty good. Fox 2. There it goes. And it missed. <laughs> That's exactly what I didn't want. And he fired a Fox 2 there that also missed, so this is actually quite good for us. Uh, that Super 57 is still very much in the fight. Just get the... Oh, Fox 2 goes right by. And... Oh! No! Wow, that was actually a really good shot. Hydraulics, Hydraulics failure. failure. And she's not flying anymore. Hydraulics. All right, no problem. I've kind of uh, figured out what I did last time, and I should make that mistake again, which theoretically means that we should be good moving forward. 
I'm going to basically try to bleed the Sukhoi 57 of its energy because it does the high AOA moves. And, you know, that basically turns the aircraft into one big air break. And if I can maintain my energy a little bit more, I might be able to get a vertical advantage on him and then, you know, take shots at him that hopefully uh, he can't do anything with and basically kill him. So, uh, and I'm, I've really got to depend on, I don't know, the Fox 2s are kind of hard to hit. They, you know, the Su-57 has that laser counter defense thing where, countermeasure thing where it shines a laser into the seeker of a missile and kind of blinds it. So, uh, missiles can be kind of hard to hit. Still trying to jam that Wes with them here. You can see his first couple turns are actually pretty good. But then he gets pretty slow. That Fox 2 almost tracks. Let's see if I can get tone here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna stay with guns. I don't wanna waste that Fox 2. Once again, just trying to chase his tail. No Fox 2 shot. This is way too close. He's doing a really nice job of jamming the Wes here, but you can't jam the gun. Oh, that was very close. Fox 2 went right by there. Wow. I honestly thought I was dead again. The way that Fox 2 went by. We are in a two circle on the deck. And... I appear to be outrating him. Come on, let's get a tone here. Fox... Nope. Fox 2 is not gonna track. Uh. Okay, we're gonna use vertical. A little bit more vertical, actually. I'm gonna flare. And there he is. I'm gonna... This is my Fox 2 shot from way up in the vertical. Use my energy advantage. Tone. Fox 2 tracking got him and he's on fire and splash one sukhoi 57 fella the margins for this fight are very narrow but quite honestly, you can see the reason why that even if you're a very good dogfighter, let's say your aircraft is really good at dogfighting, you still don't want to get into a dogfight if you can avoid it. You'd rather get the BVR kill. Because when you go to the merge, you know, one tiny mistake can get you killed. Into the merge here, no matter how good you are, right? Uh, Fox 2 did not track there. careful not cross his nose wow he almost got me there <laughs> you can see the margins are so tight he's almost got me in every round every round so far he's almost had me he's off by a few maybe feet sometimes maybe inches but once again two circle fight oh we're losing a little bit of lift here pulling the nose up uh he fired a fox too that hit the water right behind me it looks like which is uh, very lucky. <laughs> and look at this. Imagine you're on one of these ships right now and you're watching this. It's so crazy. <laughs> I've said this in other videos, but it's, it really is like watching two leaves in the wind kind of dogfight each other. Come on. Yeah, we hit him there. Hit him again. Two hits there. White smoke. And I saw a little puff of black smoke, which is good. Black smoke is always bad. Fox 2, he shoots. That doesn't track anything. I don't even know what he shot at. My Fox 2 somehow misses. I got him again with guns. More black smoke. 
coming out of him there. And all the smoke is now gone. So I guess the Sukhoi 57 repairs in the air. <laughs> it's got some self-repair technology. No, he's got to be hurting real bad here. Hold on. There we go. I hit him like 50 times there. How is he not dead for real? I mean, what is... Oh, there it is. He's the... He's ejecting. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it's ridiculous. Alright, Splash 1 fell in there. With like a thousand holes. Alright, this will be the last round. I think, uh... We've all had enough. The F-22 showing its absolute dominance in these fights. This thing is, you know, when you when you have the modern Fox 2 fight where you can bleed your energy and point your nose and high off bore sights are king, the, you know, energy bleeding maneuver, high AOA super maneuverability moves uh, are very useful and can be very deadly. As you can see here, I'm going to point the nose, although the sun there kind of looked like it was masking him a little bit. Trying to stay with him here again. The first couple turns by the Sukhoi 57 actually look pretty good. And he is somewhat even with the F-22. Trying to get those on. A little bit of guns that hit him. Wow. And he's on fire. <laughs> Center mass fire. That's not good. Yeah, that hit him pretty good there. Just nicked him with the gun. I, was, I just pulled the trigger and it hit him. A little bit of luck. Never hurt nobody though, right? And he's most definitely dead. Splash 1 Sukhoi 57 fell in. Looks like the F-22 is going to take it today. 